Wait, why does everything suddenly look so fuzzy and blurry? If you just started on one of the GLP-1 medications like Wagovi or Zepbound, and you suddenly feel like you're starring in a low-budget indie film with a permanent blur filter on, you don't need to panic. But you might be experiencing some blurred vision, so what exactly is causing it? Is it the meds, is it your body rebelling, or is there something else going on? Well, fortunately for you, today I'm breaking down all the possible reasons as to why your vision might suddenly be blurry because you're on one of the GLP-1 medications. And most importantly, we're gonna cover whether you should be worried or not. Now, before we dive in, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you never miss out on a science-backed, no BS health breakdown that I keep putting out every Monday. Yes, it's true, the GLP-1 medications have been linked to causing blurred vision, but it's for reasons that you may not realize. And so, let's go through the top reasons as to why that might be the case. The first one, blood sugar fluctuations. You know how your phone suddenly will freak out when you have too many apps going and too many things happening all at the same time and it starts to spasm and eventually shut down? Well, your eyes kind of do the same thing when there's rapid changes in your blood sugar. And if you have diabetes or prediabetes, starting a GLP-1 medication can suddenly cause a quick drop in your blood sugar levels. And guess what? Your eye lenses absorb glucose and will change shape based on those blood sugar levels. So the translation means that your vision can temporarily change as your body readjusts to the blood sugar changes. So it's not a permanent problem, it's just your eyes and body rebooting. Now, should you be worried about it? Probably not. A majority of people who have something like this as a quick shift, it's not going to be an issue or a concern. And like I said, it'll be temporary and will go away as your body restabilizes at a new blood sugar level. But if it's not going away, you definitely should book an appointment with your doctor. Now, as a quick aside, if you're tired of the confusion and frustration around weight loss and you just want some good quality data and evidence that you can trust, well, you need to sign up for my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. The Hub is your go-to resource for expert insights, live coaching, and for you to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest breakthroughs with the new medications that are coming out with regards to weight management. And the best part is, is that it's a supportive community that has no judgment, just real talk and science-backed insights. You can transform your health with the various challenges, live check-ins, Q&As, and all the various other resources that we have available there. So sign up today to transform your health and get the support you need on your weight loss journey. And the best part is, you can try it entirely risk-free for the first seven days, and if you don't like it, well, we'll see you later, but I know you're gonna love it. So head to the description down below, click the link that's there, and sign up today to start transforming your health. The second possible cause is dehydration, because yes, your eyeballs need some fluids as well. You see, the GLP-1s curb your appetite, which means you may not be eating as much, which also means you might not be drinking as much either, which means your body and eyes can get a little bit dehydrated. And if you happen to live somewhere wonderful like me, where it gets very cold and very dry through the winter months, well, things are gonna be even worse. And so the solution is pretty straightforward. You gotta get more fluids and maybe get a little bit of electrolytes in there too. But should you be worried about it? Well, not really. Again, as long as things are correcting and it's only a temporary change, you should be all good to go. But if you feel like your eyes are still drier than your ex's personality, well, you might wanna add in some natural tears to moisten them up a little bit more. The third thing that could be happening is blood pressure changes. You see, the GLP-1 medications generally can lower blood pressure, which on a whole is a pretty good thing. But if your blood pressure drops too quickly, your brain and your eyes may not get that memo soon enough and thus could would get some blurred vision, which again, can be temporary. Now, the symptoms of low blood pressure might be dizziness, lightheadedness, feeling like you're kind of slow and fatigued and that sort of thing. Those would be all symptoms that the blood pressure has dropped a little bit too low and definitely need to get some assessment and talk to your doctor. And really, the only time you should worry about it in this case is if the blood pressure drops to an extreme level and you're going from dizzy to lightheadedness to blacking out, that's a big problem. So in that case, get checked out as soon as possible. Now, the fourth reason here would be a sneaky eye condition that's not actually the med's fault. You see, some people that have diabetes, prediabetes, and they go on to a GLP-1 medication, they already have a condition called diabetic retinopathy, which is an eye condition that generally develops due to high, uncontrolled blood sugars over a long period of time. And the kicker, again, is that with rapid decreases in your blood sugar levels can worsen this condition. And this is why we recommend slow, gradual weight loss and slow, gradual introduction of the medication for people who already have this pre-existing condition. 
We don't want to be doing any crash diets, cutting out all carbs, and driving your blood sugar down as quickly as possible. And again, this is because your body needs time to adapt, and going nice and slow and bringing the blood sugars down nice and slow can mitigate and prevent that diabetic retinopathy from getting any worse. And so, should you be worried? Well, the only cases where we're really worried about diabetic retinopathy is that if you have it already pre-existing before you go on one of these medications. If you've gone to the eye doctor, you've been checked out, and there's no diabetic retinopathy, you're good to go. We're not as worried about it. But when people do have it already, that's when the concern arises, and it's because that blood sugar level comes down very quickly, and it can happen with the GLP-1 medications, it can happen with crash dieting, and it can happen with insulin. So it's not the medication itself, it's because of that rapid decrease in blood sugar that worsens a pre-existing condition. And don't worry, we're gonna have a future video that goes into a lot more detail around diabetic retinopathy in the future. And hey, if you currently are living with a chronic condition like COPD, asthma, obesity, diabetes, or what have you, and you happen to be one of my wonderful Canadian viewers, well, I've got something special for you. Blue Charm is a platform that rewards you for sharing your journey. Just download the Blue Charm app on the Google Play Store or the App Store and fill out one of their surveys and you can receive $100. And here's the bonus just for you. If you use my code LYG4G8, you get an additional $5 on top of that $100. That's a total of $105 for about 30 minutes of your time. So not only can you make a little extra money, but sharing your story also helps to drive meaningful research around chronic diseases. So if you're one of my Canadian viewers, check out Blue Charm today and start earning some money for sharing your journey. All right, let's wrap things up here. Is blurred vision actually dangerous? Most of the time, no, it's just your body adjusting. And it could be due to things like blood sugar changes, blood pressure, dehydration, and so on. But of course, as a disclaimer, if the vision is getting worse and worse, or it's not improving after weeks and weeks, you definitely need to follow up with your care providers to get yourself checked out. Now, I wanna hear from you. Have you been on one of these medications and have you noticed changes in your vision? If so, drop your comments down below and let's start talking about it. And of course, if you want to keep getting all of my deep dives with the GLP-1 medications and obesity and health advice in general, then you definitely need to smash that subscribe button if you already haven't done so. As well, don't forget to check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub to start transforming your health today and help you along your weight management journey. And of course, check me out on all of my other social media channels. And as I always sign off, please remember, it is the small tweaks that lead to your massive peaks.